no baby, I can't keep the inhaler. I promised to return it. But you should be resting after such a... Baby, I will rest when I return to the hotel, okay? But first things first, let me return the inhaler, please. Baby, I still am not comfortable with you being outside again so soon after having the kind of crisis you described to me. I told you that I'm fine now. As a matter of fact, I'm on my way. I'm on my way to return his inhaler. I promised and I've got integrity so I have to keep to my promise, okay? Oh, in that case, you should go ahead. Give my regards to him. Thank you. I will. I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. I Join me. I could. No, 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 no. It's fine. I had breakfast already. Thank you. Oh, great. Um, like I said over the phone, that I was going to come express my gratitude for saving a soul today, mm. and to give you the inhaler myself. No, no, come off it. You, you need to stop. I mean, you've thanked me enough already. You make it seem like it's not something that happens on a daily. Plus, who knows, in the near future, I might be in your position and you in the opposite position. I'm sure you would be rendering help. That's how life rolls. You're such a perfect gentleman. Thank you. And indeed, that's how life rolls. Okay, one second. Here you have it. And thank you once again. Thank you. I'll be on my way now. Um, one sec, please. Um, I'm curious to know. Okay. Um, I mean, the attack seemed a bit um, severe. But what triggered it? Well, the air in the GRA is, is pretty clear. Yeah, the air is pretty clear. Okay, what happened was that earlier this morning, someone started um, a fire, probably someone in the neighborhood who wanted to burn his um, household trash. Then I jogged past it and I inhaled the smoke. Boom! It triggered it. Oh, that's a funny coincidence. I mean, I remember something like that almost, you know, taking the life of my kid's sister. So, oh, so sorry. Years back. I mean, it's quite a shame how we treat these things in this part of the world. I mean, people just carelessly born in things without um, paying attention to the health hazards it may pose to people, unsuspecting um, occupants in the neighborhood. It's really sad. I absolutely do agree with you. And I would suggest they get enlightened by public health officials yeah. as well. You know, my boyfriend was actually very mad at whoever started that fire. He was like, um, things like this don't happen abroad. It, you don't just go about igniting or starting fire on the streets. He's very correct. I mean, there are serious consequences for offenders, you know. Um, that's what happens when a system works and not disrupted by systemic corruption like we have here. Mm -hmm. I agree with you once again. Lucy, calm down. I'm already on my way to his house. You know, everything just down on me the moment you left the house. You are right all along. I have been too calm and too naive with Bond. <laughs> Babe, trust me. If Bond did not call you 
to beg you to beg me on his behalf. Then call me a dog. Yes, of course. <laughs> you said if I get there and meet the so-called girl there, <laughs> then the third world war will break out. Yes, I said that. Babe, they know they use proverb, they talk this kind of thing. You should know what's up. You know what? Just thank you so much for opening my eyes. I am super grateful, okay? I, I, I should be learning along now. Uh, Alright, thank you. This cab guy now, where is he? I thought you said he's here. Hurry up, hurry up. I'll have to go now, okay? And talk to you. Hope you don't mind um, I call you, you know, from time to time. That won't be necessary, sir. No, no, don't, don't even argue about it, please. Okay. Um, I needed to come say thank you. And for some personal reasons, I wouldn't want this to go beyond what it is already. I understand and I respect that. Um, you did mention, you know, your boyfriend. Oh, yes. Plus, I am taken, soon to be wedded, actually. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Great, great. Um, that, that's fine. Uh, oh, congratulations in advance. Thank you. Thank <laughs> that's you. fine. Oh, okay. That's okay. In that case, I can entertain some little hellos <laughs> and highs, you know, once in a while. Okay. Yeah, I I'm can. Nice. I mean, I jog in the neighborhood every morning whenever I'm in town. So I know I will see more of you. You know, you are... Uh... If you are a decent lady, the kind I would want my fiancé to be around. Oh. Yes. Uh, absolutely. That she, Jesus mm. Christ. Barry, hey, babe. Oh, <laughs> baby, it's not what you think. Oh, my. Well, let me explain. So it's true. Barry, you need to calm down. It's not what you think. How dare you? How dare you insult our love so you could be with this thing? Barry, excuse me. You need to stop. How dare you? Relax, How Barry. Dare you? you need to. How could you do this? Barry, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? How can you do this to me? What? How can you do this to me? How dare you? How dare you see me? Barry! Barry, don't touch that lady! Gates, man! Gates, man! Open the gates! Open the gates! Open the gates! Please, baby, please. Don't, don't, please, baby, please. Don't make me do something I will regret. Baby, get out. Get out. Baby, baby, I love you. Take out the You get out now. Baby, please. Baby, baby, I said leave. Madam, is it? Baby, please. Imagine the barbarian. Baby. Now listen to me. If I see her in this compound again, you will go with her. Hey. Why, why? This thing a temptation. This man. Also, hey, they know they break both of our GRA. This place is not GRA. This guy just come from Opoko. Call this place. Call the break bottle. You get locked. You get locked. I don't follow you, best. You get locked. I don't. Side, side, never shop. I fall. I fall. I fall. I fall. Oh, God.
God. Hi. 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 Okay, you just, you just get locked. We put my hand. You come, you come, you come to challenge me here. Yeah. No sense. I'm out of the room, girl. Alaji is asleep. <sighs> Babe, I didn't want to annoy him by waking him up with this phone call. <sighs> it's okay, it's okay. So tell me, what did you say you did to Bond? Okay, I've heard that part before. And I completely agree with what you did. Yes, seeing that bitch with him, of course she'd drive you mad. Any woman will be driven to rage, yes. And I totally support you, darling. Mm-hmm. Come on, girl. I understand. But you continuing the drama, even after you have wounded Bond, that was, girlfriend, that was too much. You went too far. <laughs> Barry, why, 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 why would you? That would, you went too far. L L Lucy, I did not call you for you to blame me, okay? Yes, I made a mistake. By continuing to go after that bitch, even after I injured Bond. But my reaction in that house is no drama. So don't you say, call it that. I met my man, the love of my life, with another woman in his house. Two months before our wedding, there is no drama. That is actually an insult from him. A very disrespectful provocation, Lucy. Calm down, Barry. Okay, I withdraw the word drama. You're right. It's an outrageous insult. What you met there in Bond's house. And you did quite right by not giving him your ear for any form of explanation. Come on, girl. That he never called you to say that he was in town till you got to his house, rendered whatever explanation he wanted to give you useless. Mm -hmm. He would have lied you numb as all cheating men do if you had listened to him. And the bitch he was cheating on you with would have totally lost respect for you. Yes. She would have taken you for granted and continued to push you till you become history in Bond's head and life if you reacted less forcefully. Exactly! Bond's reaction scared me and still scares me, Lucy. I have never seen him like this. He has never raised his voice at me. No! Lucy, even threatening to cut me off the way he did today. I have called him more than 20 times. He didn't pick my call and he hasn't called back. After he drove me out of his compound. <sighs> Lucy. I have never seen Bon like this before. I am more scared than I am angry right now. Please, please advise me. I don't know what to do. Please. Okay, okay. T take a deep breath. Yes, just calm down. Calm down, girl. Listen, go back to his house. Dramatize your remorse like you have never dramatized anything in your life. Yes. Get him to listen to you by fire, by force. Mm-hmm. Of course.
purpose, baby girl. Play on every one of his weaknesses, especially his obsession with blowjob. Mm hmm. You know, go make heaven, Lucy. I swear, down. <laughs> But what you advise me can only happen if I can successfully gain access into his house. What if that lousy idiot manning his gate refused to let me into his compound as he instructed him? Darling, you have his baby in your womb. Uh -huh. Yes. How does that come into play here? Oh, Barry, why do I have to explain everything explicitly to you? Come on. Listen, you yourself used that same pregnancy to manipulate him and convince him to accepting you after a long hesitation from him. And he committed to you, did he not? Uh-huh, he did. So it's simple. You will use that same pregnancy, okay? Go back to his house. Right? Get him to throw the door wide open for you. Use that pregnancy. Convince him. Grow the anything you need, anything you have to do, just do it. Okay? Use that pregnancy to manipulate him once again. And darling, if he doesn't throw the gate and his door wide open for you, <laughs> then I have wasted my precious time studying psychology in school. And the bitch he messed with me with. Barry, that one a little parole now. Eh? You two do. Leave that one for one side first. Hmm? Listen, girl. We'll deal with that one later when I get back. We'll trace her. We'll put the fear of you deep into her. Right. Yes, darling. And we'll make sure that when she hears or sees your shadow, she'll be shivering. So just leave that one. Go repair the damage. Your very own action cost your relationship. And when, we'll, when I come back, that girl will just be a fly. And she will cost the day she saw your man. My darling, I bet me your parole no spoil my own parole, yeah? Make I go around my own package. Later now. Love you, girl. <laughs> Bye. Ah, Barry and Wahala. For this! Abby! Abby! Who be that? Obi, don't be silly and open the gates. Kere Renke? Eh, Obi, Kere Renke? Don't be silly, open the gates for me. Uh, um, yellow berry. Now you see, eh? Not be today. Oh. If my village people don't join your village people, men that do collabo, remis, men that join hard, do my yoga, something when I go do them, make him sack me for this for this small business why they manage you. Lie, lie, tell them say you no go work. You no go work. Obi. Kere Renke. Don't be silly. Eh? Stop talking nonsense and open this gate for me. So I'm talking nonsense, eh? Okay, no problem. Yellow Berry, special announcement. This gate is now gate of heaven. And gate of heaven will not open for sinners like you. Today is not judgment day. And no who sense. the hell are you calling a sinner? You, of course. Person where get mine, carry bottle, carry knife, to took a man anyhow, scatter him, tear him, like say, if they fight, if they fight Boko Haram. Who the person be? You won't make I call you uh, Mary, daughter of Abraham. Eh? Are you not wicked? You're supposed to leave this gate. Go to get off here and try your luck there. Today is not for you. Is it because I'm coming? I'm, I'm coming, coming down. Who is that mad dog barking at the gate? Uh, now yellow berry. Be quiet. I wasn't talking to you. I said who is that mad dog? That miserable dog barking at my gate. What did you just call me? The now? mad dog. That is what you are. Now, listen. You are lucky 
that Obi did not open this gate for you because if I had found you inside my premises, I would have flung you over the fence without batting an eyelid. Yes. Baby, I'm sorry. Please. I do not want to hear it. Yes. Now, listen to me. I want you far away, far away from this gate. If you so much as tap it, you will unleash and have an encounter with the devil inside of me. Baby. Yes. Correct, man. Baby is no longer about you and I. Eh? It's about our baby. I mean, the heart tackle you gave me earlier today. I've been feeling a burning sensation below my abdomen. Please open the gate so you can take me to the hospital. What did you say? Yes. What? How dare you come here? How dare you try to use the child in you to blackmail me? What sort of cheap emotional blackmail is that? Baby, I'm not lying to you. I'm not. What do you mean you're not lying to me? What do you take me for? Some stupid idiot who wants a child so badly that will just jump at anything you say because I'm, because I'm desperate, because I'm senseless? Who, who put you up to this? Who advised you to do this? Baby, baby, no, I love you. Look at my hand. Does this look like the work of love or the work of a raving mad person, a mad dog? I'm sorry. No, look. Have you traced and apologized to the lady you harassed in this house? The, the lady you assaulted today? I mean... No, but... No, but... Until you do that, I do not ever want to set my eyes on you again. Do not make the mistake of showing up in this premises. You will not like how it will end. Get out, Get out of this baby. place! Baby! Get out! Baby! Baby! Rubbish! Rubbish! Oga, Oga, you're not really the correct man. Oga, you're not a better man. Hey! See action! Hey! Hey, you know, say something to Oga for hand. But just use this one, Ola. Use this one, Ram. Oga, you're not a better person, I swear. Eh? I think they think see now, 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 gentleman, pure gentleman you be. I don't know say you're the miss Sam. You're the miss gentleman, arrogant. Eh? God go bless you. She naked God will join hand with devil and they will bless you well well. Okay, you know go die. You know your money go long. Eh? See all this Asha won't need the cause cause problem for, 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 for this country. Hmm? I still don't know waiting God put for that for that apple. Where if? Can he give Adam? Adam come shop and all of us come there, they suffer here. Asha will business come full everywhere. This Asha will come come here. Come come scatter my other hand. Me wait salary. My salary never even end. Today now, na half of the moon. I don't carry out my money, give a shower. I don't even see money, buy food, chop. I don't even see money, say give, say give my mama for village. No, beside, I don't greet you. In a small, small shower they carry. I don't near 5,000, 6,000, I don't near. All this 1,850. Sometimes I go price. 1,000, 4,000, with a bag, plenty of bag. I go for penny. Salary, I go. Salary, I go. I shall have a problem. Oga oh God, God bless you. Now man, you be. Now man, you be. I swear. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. Yes. I was feeling feverish a few days ago and I decided to run a malaria test, which came out negative. Then the doctor advised I do a PT. And. Be a father. Babe! This is amazing! Come here, give me a hug. My love! 